one of the common complications of diabetes is neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy indicates nerve damage as a result of excess sugar in the body. Excess blood sugar in the body causes damage to the walls of the nerves and disrupts the transfer of messages to the brain. It can cause tingling, numbness, pain and weakness in the feet and legs, making it hard to walk climb stairs or to do any other activity. In more than half of the people who have had diabetes for 10 years or more, neuropathy causes them to develop skin ulcers which can tend to become infected in time. If ignored, this can progress to a stage where amputation is the only option, leaving them significantly disabled. Additionally, it can also impact your digestive system, heart and sex organs. I, your SugarFit Health Coach Venus, will be telling you everything about diabetic neuropathy. There are many types of diabetic neuropathy, with each one affecting a different set of nerves in the body and therefore have a different range of effects. It is said that approximately 60 to 70 percent of people with high blood sugar levels develop some form of neuropathy or the other. There are multiple causes for neuropathy, including injuries, infections, and exposure to toxins. First is peripheral neuropathy. It is a condition that is developed when the nerves that carry message to and from the brain and spinal cord are damaged. What this damage does is that it disrupts the communication between the brain and rest of the body, leading to many other symptoms. Peripheral neuropathy is one of the most common types of neuropathy and mainly affects the nerves in one's limbs. Although the cure for this is unknown, there are still some ways and treatments that can help lessen the symptoms. You might need to make some lifestyle changes to manage the condition. Some of the most common symptoms of peripheral neuropathy include tingling or numbness in the hands or feet, burning, prickling or itching sensations, sharp jabbing or electric shock-like pain, loss of muscle control and coordination, trouble balancing and walking, dry mouth and eyes, sexual dysfunction and constipation or diarrhea. The second type is autonomic neuropathy and as the name suggests, it's a disorder that results from the damage to the autonomous nervous system, which is responsible for controlling the body's automatic functions like digestion, blood pressure, bladder control, and heart rate. And any damage caused to the autonomic nervous system can cause problems with these functions. Low blood pressure and even erectile dysfunctions are some of its symptoms. Some of its symptoms include dizziness, fainting, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, urinary problems, sexual issues, low blood pressure and high blood pressure too. I'd suggest you check with an expert if you have experienced these symptoms. The third type we'll be talking about is proximal neuropathy. This one's a type of peripheral neuropathy that impacts the muscles in the hips, buttocks or thighs of the body and is caused by damage to the nerves that supply to these muscles. This can lead to difficulty with walking, climbing stairs and various other activities including coordinating movements. Some of the symptoms of proximal neuropathy include weakness, pain and cramping in your affected muscles and if or when you notice these symptoms, it is important to make lifestyle changes and consult your doctor to know the best way to manage them and treat diabetic neuropathy naturally. Injury, infection and certain diseases can cause proximal neuropathy and if the condition progresses over time, it could also lead to permanent disability. Although there's no cure for proximal neuropathy either, the treatments depend on the underlying causes that help relieve symptoms and improve the quality of life. The treatments may include surgery or medication and in other cases, even lifestyle changes may be necessary to help manage the symptoms. The fourth type of neuropathy is mononeuropathy. Just like the name suggests, it is a medical condition that affects just one nerve in the body. 
carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common type of mononeuropathy and it impacts the median nerve in the arm. Some other types of mononeuropathy include radial nerve palsy, lumbosacral plexopathy and peroneal nerve palsy. When it comes to mononeuropathy, it can cause a lot of symptoms depending on which nerve has been impacted. Some of them include pain, numbness, tingling, weakness, paralysis and problems with movement or numbness in the hand and arm. This condition can be caused by trauma or injury to the nerve. Infections like meningitis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases such as ghelin bar syndrome and cancer. Now, let's look at the diagnosis of diabetic neuropathy. If you have diabetes and are experiencing any symptom of diabetic neuropathy, you should definitely see your doctor so that they can diagnose the condition and recommend the right treatment. With diabetic neuropathy, the chances for a successful treatment are better if detected early. There are various tests that help diagnose diabetic neuropathy. One of the most important blood tests used to diagnose it is the hemoglobin A1c test, which is also known as HbA1c. It measures the average blood sugar levels over the past three months and helps the doctors understand if someone has diabetes and how well it is being controlled. Other tests include physical examination, blood tests, urine tests and nerve conduction studies like filament tests, sensory testing, muscle response testing and autonomic testing. The treatment for diabetic neuropathy varies from person to person depending on the type and severity of it. Some may not even require any treatment while others may need medication, physical therapy or even surgery. If left untreated, one can even lose all the sense of feeling and the consequences can be life-threatening. To everyone watching this who has diabetes, I urge you to look for these symptoms and get tested if you observe any of them. If you have any queries regarding the same, kindly leave a comment below.